The risk management model in the Secure Controls Framework is incredibly useful and can be used to create a holistic risk management program. This video explains the overall concept of the Cybersecurity and Data Privacy Risk Management Model, which we call the CPRMM. There is a PDF on the SCF website that goes into details on this risk management model and you are highly encouraged to read that to better understand these concepts. The bottom line is the CPRMM was created to provide an efficient methodology to identify, assess, report, and mitigate risk. Since you are watching this video, that means there is a high probability that you are trying to figure out how to better manage risk in your organization. As a stakeholder, there are two main questions you should ask about your organization and your personal exposure in risk and threat management operations. First, can you prove that the right people within your organization are both aware of risks and have taken direct responsibility for mitigating those risks? And second, if there was a breach or incident that was due to identified risks that went unmitigated, where does the finger pointing for blame immediately go to? Are you guilty by association? It is definitely something to consider and the CPRMM might be a tool you can leverage to protect both your organization and your professional career. Where the CPRMM benefits cybersecurity, technology, and privacy personnel is the get-out-of-jail-free documentation that quality risk assessment and risk management practices can provide. Just like with compliance documentation, if risk management discussions are not documented, then risk management practices do not exist. This can be vital evidence to demonstrate your due diligence and due care practices. Instead of executive leadership hanging blame on the CIO or the CISO, quality risk management documentation can prove that reasonable steps were taken to identify, assess, report, and mitigate risk. This type of documentation can provide evidence of due diligence and due care on the part of the CIO, CISO, or CRO, which firmly puts the responsibility back on the management of the team, department, or line of business that owns the risk. The SCF utilizes a threat and risk catalog. The catalogs group the risks and threats according to category and provide detailed descriptions of the risks and threats. The most important concept to understand in cybersecurity and data privacy-related risk management is that the cybersecurity and IT departments generally do not own risk. Right or wrong, business management is ultimately able to decide how risk is to be handled. The CPRMM exists to help cybersecurity and data privacy functions create a repeatable methodology to identify, assess, report, and mitigate risks. This is based on the understanding that the responsibility to approve a risk treatment solution rests with the management of the team, department, or line of business that owns the risk. The CPRMM is meant to guide the decision to one of these common risk treatment options, which are to reduce, avoid, transfer, or accept the risk.